starting off with the modest food and beverage outlet in Dublin, Ireland. I'm Amal al and after this break, I'll introduce you to one local entrepreneur who made his dream a reality in Dubai. Many medium-sized companies around the globe are turning to Dubai to open up new businesses. Tonight, we bring you a profile of one company that took that step and has been able to achieve financial success that just wasn't possible back home. Amal al Shabri has a story. It started with humble beginnings in 1964, when McGettigan's food and beverage outlet on Queen Street in Dublin, Ireland first opened. Years later, starting with the flagship hotel in London, the Bonington is now in Dubai. Situated in Jamar Lakes Towers, the 40-story hotel includes 208 rooms and 274 apartments, as well as restaurants and cafes offering the best of British-European memorable cuisine fused with a touch of the region's flavor. For visionary Irishman Jim McGettigan, it was no surprise why he had his eyes set on Dubai. Uh, well, I was very interested in Dubai. The fact that uh, it expanded so quickly. Uh, Dubai probably did as much in 50 years as all the major cities in the world in 500 years. So a place like that seemed to be an interesting place. McGettigan is a Dublin-based entrepreneur owning a chain of hotels in Ireland and the UK. He and his family decided to branch out in the Middle East, officially opening the Bonington Hotel and Apartments in May this year. The recession is known to have affected most businesses from all over the world, including the hotel industry. Although the crisis has turned businesses and lives towards a different and at times unpleasant route, Bonington still stood its ground. This financial uh, downturn affects everybody's business, you know. Um, uh, you know, everyone that has been in business has lost money in this financial uh, crisis. Uh, fortunately, we were more stronger than others because we had reserves. But if we would not have had reserves, we would have found it very difficult to. Uh, keep things moving. Dubai already boasts hundreds of hotels, but Bonington stands out, as Jim's youngest daughter explains. Well, the main reason I would say there's a demand for us, there are commercial hotels in Dubai, but from a UK and Ireland point of view, it's an Irish-owned, Irish-run family hotel. So that, I think, brings people a lot more, it's a lot more attractive to people insofar as whether, even though it's a commercial hotel, it's easier to actually come into it because you feel like you're semi kind of at home, you're just doing your business here. And with a strong population of Irish expats in Dubai that's growing even stronger, there are plenty who will appreciate those home comforts. Emil El Jabri, Emirates News.